Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ama ba'd Ahabat of Allah Going back to our study of Tafsir Surat Al-Ma'un And this should be the last sitting bi'idn Allah Ta'ala And we left off, the Shaykh was talking about the fourth characteristic which is mentioned in the ayah, وَيْلُ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ uh, Woe to those who pray. You know, that those are the people who pray. أَلَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ Those who, people who come to their prayer uh, with laziness. And the shaykh mentions uh, some of the sifat of the munafiq, and this is for us to reflect on. He said, أَوَلٍ لَا يُقِيمْ رُكُوعَهَا uh, the first characteristic is that this person does not, uh, and this is coming from the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, in mentioning about this, these how to be how people are lazy with regards to the prayer. So the first characteristic, which is a characteristic of the hypocrites, and may Allah protect us from these characteristics and protect us from being of the hypocrites. Amin ya rabbil alamin. The first characteristic, la yukim rukuaha, that they do not. Um, you know, perfect their rukur. Athaniya la yukim sujudaha. And they do not perfect their sujud, you know, their prostration, their full prostration. Athalith la yathkurullah subhanahu wa ta'ala illa qalila. And the third characteristic of the hypocrite is that they do not remember Allah except qalil. Except that meaning that they do remember Allah, but it's only a little bit. Rabian. يُأَخْرَهَا عَنْ وَقْتِهَا And the, the fourth thing is that they delay it on its time. This is very important. He says, إِذَا قَارِبَتَ الشَّمْسِ الْغُرُوبِ قَامَ وَصَلَرْ أَرْبَعٍ عَلَى هَذِهِ سِفَةٍ He said, uh, so this fourth characteristic is that they delay the prayer from its time and when the sun is beginning to set, for example, for meaning for... Uh, for Maghrib prayer, that they they get up and they quickly pay the four rakat of Asr in this manner. So this shows us these are the people who 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 fit this description. Wa billah, may Allah protect us from this this description of being lazy with regard to our prayer and how dangerous it is, and that this is the key characteristics of the hypocrites. Uh, and in the tafsir. Uh, عن سعيد بن أبي وقاص رضي الله تعالى عنه قال سألت رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. He said I I asked the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم الذين هم صلاتهم ساهون. I asked them about this ayat. You know those who are lazy with regards to the prayer. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said هم الذين يؤخرون الصلاة عن وقتها. He said they are those who Delay their prayer from its time. So that is Khalis, the one who fits this characteristic uh, of being of the Sahun with regards to their prayer, is those people who delay their prayer from its time. And this is what the uh, one of the Tabi'een said with regards to this, uh, one of the Mufassireen. وَقَالَ عَطَى بِن دِنَار رَحِمُهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى He said, Alhamdulillah الذي قال عن صلاتهم ساون ولا يقل ولا يقل في صلاتهم ساون عطاء بن دينار رحم الله تعالى said Alhamdulillah all praise belongs to the one who said on their prayer that they are lazy and he didn't say with regards to their prayer that they're lazy within their prayer. Meaning, the difference here is that uh, the ayat is re referring, although it includes both, those people are careless with regards to their prayer, but those people are careless regarding the time for the prayer. They delay their prayer, you know, they sleep until the last minute instead of getting up when they hear the adhan or when they know it's time for Salat al-Asr or Dhuhr or whatever, and they delay their prayer from, the, from its time. And he said, Alhamdulillah, that Allah said that, 
and that he didn't say the one who's forgetful during the prayer because sometimes all of us from amongst the believers, we become forgetful during our prayer. Sometimes things in the dunya, you're busy with a business transaction, you're busy with work, you have the stress of work, you have the stress of the house, you have to remember this, you have to remember this. So sometimes the shaitan creeps into your prayer. Sometimes your thoughts creep into your prayer. Sometimes your own shahwa creeps into your prayer. So you just have to get back focused and strive to uh, to be uh, focused during your salat. And if it becomes to the extent where you have forgotten something which is uh, from the wajibat of the, pr the prayer, then you must make that up and make salatos sajid to sahu. You know, make the, the prayer, the, the prostrations of forgetfulness. Half of them in Hajar, he said, and, he, and then the Sheikh also mentioned uh, the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he وسلم, also forgot, which was an illustration for us in, in the Ummah, that the Prophet وسلم, was human and that the Prophet وسلم, uh, also gave us uh, an example so that we knew how to, if we do forget during the prayer, how we're supposed to deal with that. So half of Ibn Hajar, he said, Wafihi Dalil. He said that this hadith was evidence, although we didn't mention the hadith because it's a little long, but it was where the Prophet said, Hadith. So this is a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he mentioned about uh, and illustrating for us that uh, the, what to do when you forget during the prayer. So half of he said that this is evidence that the NBA alayhim afdal salatu wasalam that forgetfulness would would happen to them as well because they were human beings, and it was forgetfulness with regards to actions. So this is important. He mentioned actions. Why? Because they didn't forget Aqidah. They didn't forget those things uh, in the Minhaj of Dawah and so forth, but rather meant perhaps in actions, alayhim afdal salatu salam, that forgetfulness would happen to them because they were human beings. Then the Shaykh mentioned, he said, Asifa, uh, Asifa, Asifa to Khamisa. Which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alladinuhum yaraun. Uh, yara he said, those people who pray to be seen. So the Shaykh says, Yaraun yara nas, Fala yusalluna lillah subhanahu, wa inma yusalluna riya'in. Fida rahum an nas sallu, Wida ghafalu anhum tarku salat. So these people, this is also a characteristic of the, uh, of the hypocrites, wa'iyad billah, is that these people that they pray only to be seen of men, wa'iyad billah. So be careful, strive your best that when riya comes, because riya will come in many actions of ibadah, the shaitan is going to whisper, your own nafs are going to whisper, mashallah, the people are watching me, mashallah, I should beautify my prayer, mashallah, I should beautify my speech, mashallah, I should do this, I should do this. And this is uh, from the shaitan and from our own nafs. We're human. So this showing off is going to happen. It's not that it's not going to happen. It's going to happen. So you fight that. Don't be so hard on yourself that you just leave off doing good deeds. That's from the shaitan. But rather you continue to give da'wah in Allah. And you continue to do khair. And you continue to pray. But you correct yourself. When you, when you know that the shaitan is whispering to you or... Your nafs are whispering to you that you should show off. Then nip it in the bud. Fight that. And correct yourself. Or do those things which are legislated like the spitting over the shoulder of the left shoulder three times. And correcting yourself to uh, from this riyah. And there's so much to say with regard to the riyah. But we'll keep it simple. 
and the Sheikh mentioned so many ahadith. Uh, he says on uh, the hadith on Jabir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal kharaja nabiyyu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fa qal ya ayyuha an-nas iyyakum wa shirk shirk as-sara'ir qalu ya rasulullah wa ma shirk as-sara'ir qala yuqumu ar-rajul fa yuzayyin salatuhu jahidan lima yara min nadhar nadhar an-nas ilayhi fa dhalika shirk as-sara'ir so uh, Jabir ibn Abdullah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he said that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasallam came out and he said O oh, people, beware of shirk as sarair. And the people said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, what is shirk as sarair? The Prophet ﷺ said, A man will establish his prayer and he will beautify it intentionally so that the people uh, will, will, will see him. And this is the shirk as sarair. And in another hadith, the, uh, the hadith on Mahmoud ibn Labid, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal, inna akhafu ma akh, uh, inna akhwafu ma akhafu alaykum ashirk al-askar. Qalu, wa ma ashirk al-askar ya Rasulullah. Qala al-riya. Yaqul Allah subhanahu Lahum yom al qiyama either juzia nas bi amalihim adhabu illa ladina kuntum turauna fi dunya fandru hal tajiduna indahum jaza Mahmud ibn Labid radiallahu ta'ala anhu one of the Sahaba he said that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that I am most fearful of you, Shirk al Askar. And they said, What is Shirk al Askar, Ya Rasulullah? He said, A riyah, you know, this showing off. And Allah, the Almighty, on the day of judgment, the people will be brought before Him and to reward the people for their deeds. And Allah will say to them, go to those who you used to show off in the dunya for them and see if they have any reward for you. When Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal qala Allah azza wa jal ana aghna shuraka'i an ashirk faman amala li amalan ashraka fihi ghayri faana minhu bariyan Bari'un, wa huwa alladhi ashrak. Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu said that the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Allah azza wa jal will say that I am the most free, the most least of need or the most free from shirk. So whoever does a deed for me and they do some shirk, they share, associate it with a partner with me, then I am free from him and the deed that he did the shirk in. And there's so many ahadith. And the shaykh just mentions a, 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 a mountain of adillah here regarding this principle, but I think it, it's sufficient that we have an idea of what uh, the Sheikh is 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 illustrating in this characteristic that we have to avoid. Then the Sheikh mentioned, he said, "Well, sifat sadisa." This is the last characteristic, so we'll finish with this. Wiyamnaun al maun. That this is the last characteristic, the sifat mithmuma that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentions in this ayat. One of the characteristics that are unpraiseworthy, that are sinful. Uh, that the person wiyamnaun al maun that they do not do the small kindnesses. The Sheikh says, وَمَرَادْ بِالْمَعُونَ هُوَ كُلُّ مَا يَحْتَاجُهُ النَّاسِ مِنَ الْعَارِيَةِ كَالْعَارِيَةِ السَّيَّارَةِ وَالْعَارِيَةِ الْدَوَابِ وَالْعَارِيَةِ الْفَأَسِ وَالْعَارِيَةِ الْقِدْرِ 
wal ariyat al habl wal ariyat al dalo yu'iruhu lahum so the sheikh says that this ayat what's meant here al ma'un is the small kindnesses and it includes anything that people are in need of from their necessities whether it be uh an automobile whether it be the need of a uh, their riding animal their their or their animal to carry things or whatever whether it be uh something as small as a piece of rope or a rope or a pot or uh some container whatever people are in need of so we have to be cautious and may Allah forgive us of our miserliness and our stinginess that we don't want to uh keep people away from their needs instead we want to be of those people who assist others with their needs so this is very important that we don't fall into this because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has warned against this in this uh, in this ayat and The Sheikh mentions a lot of other benefits, but I think that's sufficient with regards to this this uh, surah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ilm and nafia, wa rizqan tayyiba, wa amal al and protect us from being of those people who are who have the characteristics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes. Fi kitab al kareem, arayt al ladi yukadibu bid deen, fa dalik al ladi yadu al yatim, wa la yuhdu ala ta'am al miskin, fa waylul lil musalleen, al ladinu. الذين هم عن صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراون ويمنعون المعون may Allah protect us from having those characteristics and may Allah grant us all success and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our Ramadan and may Allah forgive us of our many many sins and may Allah bless us with علم النافع رزق طيب وعمل متقبل وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم